cool. We got a, a really uh, multicultural audience here tonight. We got uh, got a lot of uh, a lot of white people. We got some some black people here. We got some green people that need medical tests in the audience as well. Uh, but I noticed we have got a, quite a solid uh, East Indian contingent here. Am I right? If you got an East Indian uh, background, do a little clappy. Let's see how many we got here. Right on. This is cool because whether you guys know this or not, or whether you like it or not, you guys are actually my brethren. In a way. That's right. Because I grew up in Victoria, British Columbia, in a community filled with East Indian people, right? And those are all my friends. So I spent a lot of Friday nights at East Indian households, which were a blast. Because I don't know if you guys have East Indian friends, but really nice, tightly knit families. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. You go in there, right? There's like three grandparents in the living room, right? Walk into the bedroom, there's another 14 grandparents in there from other households, right? And it was great, because I was raised in a single uh, parent home, and I have no, no siblings, right? So I go to my friend uh, Nubby Takar's house, right? And it was uh, just, just great fun, great games, great food, right? Galab jamin, prota, right? Yum yum in the tum. Yum yum. And what we do after that is we go into the living room and do the most entertaining combination of things I've ever done before. And that is smoke a joint and watch Bollywood dance videos. <laughs> Bollywood dance videos. I don't know if you guys have seen East Indian dance videos. They're the funnest videos on earth, right? Because everyone in them is supersonically happy, right? But almost to like an insane extent, like they were like shot up with cattle hormones and speed before the video. Right? Ah! I love it. It just fills me with joy, right? But what I think is sort of strange is that if you watch three, four, maybe five of these videos, you'll notice that the plot is the same in each and every one of them, right? You know what I'm talking about, guys. There's always this, like, gorgeous East Indian love goddess, right? She's being stalked by some menacing dude with a mustache, right? Looks like Saddam Hussein if he was on Magnum P.I. And I'm sitting there watching TV, and I'm like, you're being stalked! Run to a police station or, like, a woman's shelter, right? She's looking out of the TV screen, she's like, no, 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 I've done this before. I run into the woods! I <laughs> No, what is the better choice? I do this in every video. <laughs> so you're all tense, right? You do not want this predator to catch this princess, right? So you're all waiting there with bated breath, waiting your knuckles, right? The shitty thing is, though, she's not a very good hider, right? Because <laughs> he's looking around for her, right? Peering through foliage, just like, Gurdit, Gurdit, I know you're around here. I can hear you singing. <laughs> That's another thing. Do not sing lovely songs while you're being stalked by a menacing predator, right? All <laughs> oh, this dude's coming. I think we're alone now. <laughs> yeah, but she picks the worst place of all to hide, right? The smallest tree in the woods, right? She likes to tease him. She's like, hmm. Maybe I'm behind the tree. Maybe I'm not behind the tree. You can't see me. No, no, no. Hello! <laughs> and two minutes later, they're funking in a meadow. And you're like, what? Is that how you operate a good relationship? <laughs> who I feel sorry for, though, is the uh, people who have to edit these videos, right? Because essentially they're editing the same video over and over again, right? Which has got to be a boring job. But you can tell they have fun with the job. Because if you watch a Bollywood dance video, wait for the three minute and 30 second mark. Something psychedelic and weird will happen that makes no sense at all, right? You can almost see them in the editing studio making this, or just sort of like, like. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Jig deep, jig deep. Come here, check this shit out. If you press B1 at the same time as escape, it makes eight heads come on the screen at once. <laughs> and you watch it, it's a scared East Indian prince. Got the camera, Mia! And eight disembodied Saddam Hussein heads. Got the team, got the team, got the team, All in technicolor. Got the team, got the team, And that's what I like about being raised East Indian. <laughs> 